guys and welcome back to my channel and yeah thanks for the support thanks for the love and please 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 guys please subscribe to the channel and yeah so that you can be notified whenever i post a youtube video or a story time or whatever it is that i'll be posting at the time please subscribe and give give this video a thumbs up so um i thought that since well it's the beginning of the year and we have a lot of young people going to universities um i thought let me just do this video to just like encourage young people um as they're about to start their year in university so most of the time young people when they go to um varsity i don't know they see it as a chance to like do whatever that they couldn't do when they when they were at home you know especially um those kids who had very strict very strict parents like myself so um yeah we grew up with a very strict father so i feel like young people when they matriculate and they get to go to university the first thing that comes into their mind is like oh my gosh freedom like yo they're like i'll do things that i couldn't do when i was at home you know but i just thought that i would do this video maybe it will be an encouragement and yeah to our young brothers and sisters okay so this story is going to be my cum laude journey how i got my cum laude and the obstacles that i had to overcome along the way okay so let's start from the beginning so There's a train passing by, so I don't know if it's making noise. Okay, it's gone. I used to study each and every single day, and then that helped me to like get very high marks. And then at the end of the year, um, okay, I passed well. And then the following year, which was my second year now, I got a call from the vice chancellor's office, um, from his secretary, and then he, she was like, um. I am needed at the at the vice chancellor's um, what I don't know what 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 it was but then um, I should come along with um, some other student as well so they took um, the students that had the highest marks from each department and from each was it each department I don't know yeah something like that and then we were awarded for being the top students and then we got certificates, we got trophies, we got all that, and we got cash too. Yes, we got cash too. And then um, we took pictures with the vice chancellor, and then um, we were on the newspapers and whatnot, and on the computers in, in our varsity. So that was like, oh my gosh, wow. So if I study hard, then I'm gonna get this. So that also encouraged me to like study hard so the following year i was like okay so i got that award and then my plan this year is to get the same award so i studied hard and the, and by the grace of god i got it again second year and i was like okay so studying really pays off so and um in all my studies i did not neglect god so i still went for prayers i still went to church i still had my life devoted to god and i feel like it's the grace of god that helped me to get that those kind of months because you know the grace of god so third year third year you guys that's where <laughs> that's where things started to like crumble oh my god so um you know in universities before you you write exams they um, they take all your semester marks like the semester marks of the trust and then they post them on the notice boards and then you'll see um before you write exams you'll see um your marks and then you'll know how hard to study for you to pass you know and you you'll be able to see if you qualify to write exams or not so <sighs> then yeah Jesus Christ <laughs> things started becoming like super hard like we had a new lecturer 
I don't know if the lecturer didn't like the class. So um, every single time when I would like go to check my semester mark, it's like it dropped from being Obama 90 something there to like being Obama 60 something. I'm like, something wrong. Some maybe. Mm. Something wrong, Lord, please help me. Like, this cannot be happening. This is my third year, meaning that I got the, the award in my first year. I got the vice chancellor award in my second year. Now, this is going to be an embarrassment that, so I got two awards. Then this year, I'm not gonna get it. Oh my God, I was so stressed. I remember um, when I was doing my second year, I visited my sister my sister was working in peter Murray's back at the time so we went to the church that she was attending that site excuse me she um she attended um the church breakthrough ministries I, I forgot i forgot the the name of the pastor but yo it was a very nice church and a very big church at that so yeah um i remember it was christmas time and then um my little sister my older sister and i spent christmas most time in Peter Mary's back that that year and then they will the pastor was like um, I would like everybody in the church to write down everything that you want God to do for you it doesn't matter how big it seems it doesn't matter how massive you think it is but our God can do anything like there, there's literally nothing impossible to God or with God so I was like really like I, I knew I knew the scripture that says for well, there's nothing impossible with God but really this pastor wants me to try God I remember my sisters and I were like competing when it comes to like list like let's see whose list is longer so I wrote I remember I wrote like I need to I, I, I need to pass with cum laude I need to get all the hours until I graduate and I was like can God really do this for me because at the time oh my god it, it seemed impossible like get the awards each year until I graduate and then get cum laude at the end of it it seemed impossible at the time I was like I'm writing all this down like this is a challenge I'm challenging God like I want to see if God is gonna do this for me and then after writing everything down and then there was a wall that we put we pasted those um lists there and then the pastor and the uh, and all the other pastors they prayed they prayed over our prayer requests and <laughs> oh my god and then okay fine and then third year everything started crumbling down then i'm thinking about the list i'm like god i pray like this was one of my prayer requests like we prayed that i need to get like i want to get all the awards from first year second year third year until i graduate and i need to graduate with cum laude like why is this happening my semester marks are dropping like god and i was like oh my gosh i was so stressed I, like you like you don't understand i was so stressed i was like is god really going to fail me this is going to be an embarrassment of a lifetime so um yeah almost the, the entire year my semester marks were dropping my semester marks were dropping i was like jesus christ am i not praying correctly like what's going on so i had i had no faith left by the end of that year so i knew that um um i wouldn't get that award like it was done I, it's done i wouldn't get it so um obviously when you see your semester marks dropping you're going to study harder to make up for the marks that you lost in your semester marks so you have to study hard so i studied hard i prayed so i didn't see how my marks were i didn't even want to i didn't even want to check my marks on the on the what did you call it student access or something my access i didn't even want to check my final marks because i didn't want to die I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to have any heart attack or stroke i just didn't want to check so i was dying i was i was like oh my god so i'm not gonna get that award <sighs> and then come um fourth year so we got the awards every like at the beginning of every year and then oh my god so we went back to school now the the girl that was staying 
front opposite my dr my room like my dorm room <coughs> she knew that i got the awards first year and second year so now she got the award and then she comes to my room she's like oh my god i got this message from the vice chancellor's secretary they said that the ceremony is tomorrow <laughs> the ceremony is tomorrow i need to be there da, da, da. did you get the message i didn't get the message <laughs> I didn't get the message. Oh my god, I am stressing. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't get the message. So I call my mom because she's always my next of kin. Like, if they can't find me, they call my mom and then my mom's gonna call me. So I call my mom. I was like, did you get any message from the vice chancellor? Because she's okay. First year, I got the call. Second year, my mom got the call. And then my mom notified me that I need to be at the vice chancellor's um, whatever thingy award ceremony and then third year i didn't get the message my mom just got i called my mom i was like did you get any message from the vice chancellor this time she's like no i didn't get any message jesus christ <laughs> oh my god what's going to happen now oh my goodness i'm like i am doomed i'm doomed i might just as well commit suicide <laughs> I remember I couldn't sleep that night and then there's another lady that got the message as well from our department we we not our no. yeah but then in she was doing another course not my course but then we we're in the same department yeah so she 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 comes now she's like oh I got this message too what do we need to do because like you got it the first two the first two times what do we need to do I'm like oh yeah you need to go to the um to the auditorium and then this is what's gonna happen da, 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 and you'll get this and this and this and that did you get the message no i didn't get the message oh my god <laughs> i did not get the message guys i was stressed like i was like oh my god i didn't know how i was still functioning as a, as a human being at the time i was super stressed and then fine the following morning all the people that got the messages they went to the award ceremony i didn't get the message my mommy did not get the message there's no point for me to get to go to the award ceremony like oh my god this is gonna be a terrible year this is gonna be a horrible year and then i what like i don't know where i was going i think i was going to the complex at the time so um there were registrations going on and then at the sports hall and then I went past Sports Wall. And then this guy who got the award with us the previous year, he was like, Oh my god, congratulations, you got the award of you got the award again. I'm like, what is you talking about? I I, I didn't get any message this time. And he was like, Didn't you see your name? They called out your name at the ceremony, you were not there. I'm like, what? No way! They called out my name? And he was like, okay, go to this notice board. They are names of the people who got the award. Go and check for yours. Guys, I went there running. And then when I checked the list, my name was there. I got the award again. Oh my God. Oh my God. God came through for me again. I was like, I couldn't believe it. Like, I was, oh my gosh. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my God. I got the award for the third time. The excitement that went through my body I almost collapsed and then I went to the vice chancellor's secretary and then I got my certificate I was like yes this is what I'm talking about I got it for the third time so I was like yeah I need you got to come through for me um, when it comes to cum laude so final year it was a little bit um, not tricky it was a little bit hard but yeah and then when we graduated they gave us this little cards like that had your seat numbers the little cards that had your names and then when i looked at my card it had my name on it and it had it wrote pindile patlani cum laude i'm like <laughs> died yo i almost died i was like me cut me the whole me like the entire me come oh my god like 
I ran, my, my parents were waiting outside. I ran outside. I was like, oh my, they got almost died that day. It was like, I come now. I got, oh my god. And not only that, I got um, an award from from Standard Bank uh, as an award for um, the overall top student in my department. So God came through all the things that I wrote down that time when we went to church in Peter Maritzburg. Everything I was just ticking through the list. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So guys, God is very faithful. Like God is super faithful. Whatever that you want Him to do for you, He can do it. And He can. The Bible says He can do exceedingly, abundantly above all that you can think or imagine like I, oh my goodness i have seen god like coming through for me in so many things like in my entire like i have seen god coming through for me and i believe that he can come through for you too so there were things and situations that um i found myself in and i thought oh my gosh this is the end of me and there's no way that I'm going to get out of this. But then God would just surprise me like, oh, surprise. Like, even when it comes to my spouse, like God surprised me in a very big way. And I'm going to make a story time about <laughs> my love life. I'm going to make a story time about how I met my fiance, how how things went and how things are. So if you guys are interested, please um, let me know. Let me know. But yeah, so this is the story of how I I saw God. Story of how I got my cum laude, and I'm proud of it. I don't know if oh my God. Yeah, so God came through for me and God can come through for you too. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Yes, thank you guys for watching. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.